Let's go on a musical theater field trip. We've got to tell you about Water for <laughs> Elephants. Let's go on a musical theater field trip. We're traveling together. Do we think this means it's time for a hard launch? By the time this is up, it's probably already happened. We're gonna go see Water for Elephants. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Atlanta. Would you like to see out the window? Look at our cutesy little pool. Wow, look at the people who are up early, uh, ready for the pool and setting up the pool. Why are we in Atlanta, you might ask? The answer is musical theater. Alliance Theater here in Atlanta is doing a production of Water for Elephants, which is Broadway hopeful and a very exciting team. I've never seen a Pigpen Theater Company show and I'm so excited. It's also directed by Jess Stone, who directed Kimberly Akimbo. I really enjoyed the book when it came out 10, 15 years ago. So Alliance invited me to see the show and how could I refuse? So we're in Atlanta. It's a Friday, we're seeing the show tonight, but I've gotta do some normal work and in order to do work, I need coffee. So let's go explore. Okay, Atlanta. Look how cute she is. This is where we're seeing the show tonight. Welcome to Alliance Theater, everyone. We're in an area called Midtown. It's adorable. People are oot and a boot, and this precious spot is home to our cafe. Leave a comment if you think we should take scooters back. I'm Team Scooter. My person thinks that. Death shots. Yeah, thinks that it's gonna cause us to die, so, you know. Atlanta. I do like Atlanta. Good morning to LaShawns. Good morning to the premiere of The Prom. Good morning to Caitlin Kanunen and Angie. So of all the coincidences in the world, my friend Natalie Blocky is here in Atlanta, and we're gonna go say hi. We're gonna go see Coco Melon. Second floor. The stuff of dreams. I'm not entirely sure what this is or what we're doing here, but that is. Hey, what? As an update, today is so good. Today is so good. So good. We got tacos. We got we, rained on. We got rained on, but not too much. We're about to get ice cream. We went to the Coco Melon Live experience, but more importantly, I got to spend time with Natalie, which was total kismet. She just saw my Instagram story and was like, "You're in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta." And then we saw each other. And then the shows tonight. It's a perfect weekend. It's like perfect. It's amazing and so messy. Oh no, it's on my nose. <laughs> Case in point. I got like peanut butter, gooey butter cake. What'd you get? I got lemon bark and wild berry lavender, which felt like a very gay choice of me. Conveniently, we're gay. <laughs> 10 out of 10 recommend being very gay happy. and Jenny's. What do they look like? A hot 70s boy. <laughs> It's showtime, we're ready. I don't know anything about it. I know the book. You know more than I do already. Which I read so long ago. I don't think I ever saw the film. Reese Witherspoon, Robert Pattinson. I've never seen a Pigpen Theater Company show. Never seen a Seven Fingers show. This is also my first visit to the Atoni Award winning Alliance Theater. And I'm really excited about that. I've wanted to see a show at this theater for over 10 years, so. I'm pretty psyched. The book is by Rick Ellis, directed by Just Stone, written by Sarah Gruen, the original book, composed by Pigpen. Let's get to the theater. 
Okay, well, first of all, this building is gorgeous. see Joyride tonight. I'm very excited. But first, dinner. We've got to tell you about water for <laughs> elephants. They nailed the spirit-free drink. I always ask for what I call a pineapple spicy, which is this. But today I'm feeling very like fresh. Although that looks really good too. And I've never tried garden seed lip before, so I'm curious. We'll report back. So no part of that tastes alcoholic, but I guess it's fine. It's okay. I would not spend $13 on this again, but you live, you learn, in the words of Alanis Morissette. We did it. We're gonna to talk to you about water for elephants. We're gonna give you our thoughts here in Atlanta, Georgia, which is great. 10 out of 10 would return happily to see another show at Alliance. The theater itself is beautiful. Gorgeous theater. Yeah, symphony space. Yeah, it's like all one arts complex. It's great. It was beautiful. I did say just yesterday that I have no interest in seeing any musical starring a white boy did indeed star a white boy and an older white man. I wish that weren't the case, but that is the story. Um, the woman in the show, Marlena, is sort of built to be a bit of an accessory. That's a bit of a bummer for me. It is what it is. That said, Izzy McCullough, who is playing Marlena, is exceptional. Tia's in love. I don't think I have a potential girlfriend anymore. It's fine. It Wars were fought. Wars were fought. Wars were lost. <laughs> Relationships end before they begin. I really enjoyed it. It's definitely like the kernel of a very good thing. It's not, it's not great yet. Sorry, that sounds so harsh. The first 30 pages had already been workshopped and that was very clear because the first 30 pages were very clear on stage. The thing that really threw me for a loop is the beginning of each act started in silence, which really took me out of any sort of forward action. Like, what is going on? It took a second for us to get into an opening yeah, number. Yeah, and then it like ramped up in these really exciting group pieces. It was a slow burn. It didn't feel like a slow burn, and I think that's where it was like. It did not pace like a musical typically yeah. paces. Yeah. It, and Jess Stone, who's the director, typically does a lot of plays. She did Kimberly Akimbo as well, but that's a very quiet little show. And Water for Elephants should feel a bit like you're shot out of a cannon, I think. And I think the opening number should be a really thrilling start, and so I would definitely consider starting the show a different way, so I hope they feel that as well. Same with Top of Act 2. I'm a big fan of like a wham, bam, thank you ma'am, exciting, top of two dance number extravaganza, and especially when you have all these circus performers at your disposal, I would really love like a really vibrant, exciting top of two. I mean, you got both of those pretty directly after yeah. the moment of silence. But it's just it, such it, a weird way to start yeah. the act, to me, personally. I did, not, did not love. I really enjoyed the music overall. Yeah. I didn't think there were a ton of super memorable songs, but like palette-wise, I enjoyed it. What did you think? Just overall? Yeah. With music. I enjoyed it. Like, like I found myself really engaged with a lot of the music. Would you be able to I, have many tunes? 
no. But that has nothing to do with the musical and everything to do with my brain. <laughs> you know what I really did have quite an issue with is, um, I think it was mostly a sound design issue. Oh. I had a very difficult time understanding some of the ensemble After, pieces. Yeah. I couldn't understand what they were saying, but I think that was more just like, I think it might be a both. Thing. Thing. Yeah, I don't know. Hamill was amazing. was amazing, but sometimes really hard to understand. But I love that he's perfectly cast. He's really, really exceptional. I, I really hope that it has another iteration before it goes to Broadway. I know that won't happen more than likely, but I think it should. And if it does go straight to Broadway, it really could use a workshop or two before And I say that because I really like the piece and like I want it to succeed, but it's I, for my money, it's not ready for a direct to Broadway situation. So I hope that they take their time because I think it could be really great. Right, the, A litmus test that I always use for like how successful a show is on its own is how would this do at community theater? Or how would this do in a theater that doesn't have actors brought in from New York, circus performers, et cetera, et cetera. And, for me, if this were community, like the show itself isn't cohesive enough yet to stand on its own. You know what I'm saying? That's a really good way to. I always think about like it. the commercial aspect of it. Like, what's going to happen beyond Broadway? How is yeah. this show outside of these exceptional performers? Yeah, right. right. longevity. Oh, someone's having a boy. Uh, Gender's a construct. <laughs> but congrats, Izzy's great. The male lead, I thought, has Brian Vasquez has a stunning voice. He's great. His voice is really solid, like moving on top of like yeah, yeah. He really... is, it's like butter, butter vibrato. I always get bumped when people on trains in theater are not moving simultaneously. It drives me crazy. And there's a lot of that in the show. I see that. I see. I see that. But also, it feels more realistic. Like everyone's not going to move the exact same. I don't need everyone to move the exact same way, but everyone's bodies should be responding. Roughly. Yes. I see. And yeah. it would be, and they were like grass blowing in the wind. Just from a safety aspect, with how many, like, so there's a lot of, like, circus. Cir I mean, there's silks. Silks. Specifically. Circus. But not even that, like, just the rigging aspect of, like, they were rigging platforms that had people on them. And just from a technical standpoint, the weights in the back and how all of that works. Like, I was really quite impressed that there were no issues that at least were obvious um, from the audience, uh, and everybody was very easily lifted. Nothing felt dangerous, which is always a concern in shows like that, where you're, like, concerned for the Well, they have very the clear contingencies. Or, yeah. Because we saw a few people fall out of, like, stunts and stuff, and it was really well handled. Yeah. Well, the stunts, yeah, absolutely, because that's more... But just in terms of, like, when I feel like there's rigging involved. Yeah. Specifically, yeah. The stunts. Yeah, evidently they haven't had a full acro cast the entire time because there have been so many injuries. Bananas. Yeah, it's it's a very very challenging show, and that's something else that I feel like they still need to sort is uh, synthesizing like all the different elements. It's like sometimes it's like this is the circus section, this is the dance section, this is a these are our funny ensemble section. It doesn't feel cohesive. It was super segmented yeah. in a lot of and ways. And it, it was sure. clear that it was like we have. Three rehearsal rooms right now and we're gonna work our funny people in this room we're gonna work afro in this room we're gonna work dance in this room chuck seems like the simplest show on the planet now because it's like you're in a barn there's no automation like there's no there's no flying there's no circuits there's it people was, i mean i haven't it. seen it but like it was a pretty set set design right yeah yeah it's like stationary it was, yeah. nothing no stationary yes yes yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's very, it runs in manual, which this show does too. It's not, it, none of, nothing was automated, but it was like, it's very There's a lot technical. of in and out. And sure. it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're building a new show, changes happen all the time. And I can't imagine, it's hard enough when people are just singing and dancing, but if people are singing, dancing, you're worrying about safety and rigging and people flying in the air and synthesizing everything all together. I can't imagine trying to change stuff on the fly. You can't do that with certain yes. Such a large ensemble. Giant team. cast. It was, I mean, they filled the proscenium. Yeah. It yeah. was quite a large. Yeah. I feel like it's going to be an expensive show to run. For sheer, like, you know, when numbers. numbers. Like, well, for numbers, but the there's humans. um there's hazard pay, too. Right. For, like, they, right. I know, like, when I was on Pippin, they would talk about that all the time, like, the circus aspect, they had hazard pay on top of yeah. things. So, like, just from a back of house stamp. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I could be wrong. We really enjoyed it. Right? Overall? I had, I had a good time. I had a good time. I think there is much work to be done, but I'm I'm like genuinely rooting for it and like excited to see its next 
iteration and also I'm really excited that I'm not currently tethered to like a Broadway project and I feel like I can speak a little bit more freely about my opinions about shows for a little bit so that's really cool. I always feel tricky about reviewing projects um, but my disclaimer baseline level is I am always rooting for every show. I want theater to succeed. I'm not the critic that rhymes with sh messy shmeen from the sh New York shmeens. There's an amazing monologue at the end of Ratatouille where it's like the work of a critic is easy and the work of an artist is incredibly brave and scary and hard. In many ways the work of a critic is easy. We risk very little yet enjoy a position over those who offer up their work and their selves to our judgment. It comes around, so maybe it's messy. We'll have a, um, an arc. I think it's so successful. It's just like when you're look, looking at like a more tightened up... Oh, for sure. Right, like commercial I show, mean, there's just other things to go into it. Like, it was enjoy enjoyable. People like, had a really yeah, great time. Yeah, the audience loved it. The audience like, I was rooting for it. I always want shows to succeed. And mercifully, the two shows that I feel like I've been able to review in a post, like, I'm not working on a show right now time, Cabaret and this, I really enjoyed, so, like, it's really coming from a place of respect instead of just, like, woof, that was rough. I mean, candidly, if you see me be like, join me for a night at the theater, but you ain't gonna hear it, you don't you know how I feel. I don't be like, good night, everybody, go see XYZ, because, like, I do want people to go to the theater, I just maybe didn't love it. Well, and every piece is in everybody's cup of tea. Right. So, like, And I may not be the right audience. Right? We just lost money in a photo booth machine. So that was a wall. But now we're gonna go see Ooh. Joyride. Movie time! We've never seen a movie together. Let's go be romantic. Okay. Did you enjoy the re recliner experience? I, I literally don't think I can And the anything. food and beverage. Never again. The, only this way. back. That trip was so much fun. Thank you to the Alliance for letting us see water for elephants. We really, really, really enjoyed it. Thank you to the AC Hotels for a wonderful stay. Tia, do you have any parting words of wisdom? Oh no. <laughs> you can't put me on the spot like that. Tia says no. But a good weekend. All no? good things. All good things. Thank you for following along on the adventure. As always, if you enjoyed this video, giving me a little thumbs up is super helpful. Feel free to find me on Instagram and TikTok at it's Catherine Quinn. I post new videos every single Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Click subscribe to not miss a thing, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, friends.